All right, so how's it going, YouTube? How's it going, stackers and everyone else coming across this video? I've had a lot of recent requests and a lot of requests over the past couple months to come out with videos to help you guys pack and ship different items for eBay, Etsy, or Amazon. For today's portion, it's going to be strictly about baseball hats. How do you pack, how do you ship, and how do you save money by shipping baseball hats? So what I have here is a bu bunch of different ways I've seen people ship baseball hats. This box, priority mail, has to go priority mail but it's also free from the post office. This 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven box could be found on the internet and oftentimes at Walmart or other stores. Here's a 6x6 six six box. Also, you can find this at Walmart, various stores, or online. And I've unfortunately seen people ship things in this plastic poly envelope. Problem with this is you don't want to get a negative feedback. So with this, we're going to throw it out. We're going to throw that out of the whole portion and the reason why is because when you're shipping this you don't want to get a negative feedback the big thing about hats is people really care a lot about the condition the condition is very very important let's take this baseball hat for example when you put it in a poly envelope someone else might put a package on top it smashes it and then you end up with creases that go across the crown when you get creases in the crown the hat is essentially worthless people don't like their hats to be damaged in terms of the boxes what we have here Here's a priority mail box. I'm actually going to switch it up just a tad for you guys. And we'll work from right to left. This is a priority mail box. You can get it for free at your post office. You can order them online. Also free. A lot of post offices do carry different size boxes aside from the padded flat rates, the medium flat rates, large flat rate, all the flat rate sizes. They carry these boxes as well. I've also seen post offices have their own section where they just have random assortments of priority mail boxes. These boxes are free, but you will have to pay more money to ship the item because it will have to go priority mail. It will have to go priority mail. These boxes, you can ship them first class. If you ship this hat in here, it's going to cost you roughly $7 online. Across the United States, from East Coast to West Coast, you're probably looking around $7 uh, to ship this priority mail. To ship this first class, you're currently, right now in 2018, looking about $3. You get the item usually in two to five days on this. You'll get it in two to three days with this. Most likely or not, I end up always getting these packages in about three days. I've seen them come at two days. Rarely do they ever go four or five days, but that's still a possibility when you ship first class. But also, these boxes do cost money. If you buy just one, it might cost you $1.50, it might cost you $1.25, maybe two bucks. No matter what, it'll always be cheaper to buy this box and ship it in this box than it would be to get it shipped priority mail. Priority mail boxes, like I said, they're free, they're great and everything, but uh, for hatch, you really want to ship them in one of these two boxes. Now, the perfect size, I believe, is this size. It's a 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, and the reason why is this hat, this hat right here can fit into this. It's a lower crown hat. It, it's also it's a lower crown hat, adjustable. It's not a professional stocked hat. It can fit in this box. It can also fit in this box. However, this hat is a higher crown hat. Most snapback hats, most professional baseball hats can only fit into this box. If you try to fit in this box, you're going to crush it. You're going to squish it. Keep it into this box. So with this experiment, I'll be getting rid of this box because it does cost too much money. It usually come out to about $2 more or a dollar or two dollars more than these boxes even if you had to buy the box at the most at the most expensive price and we'll get rid of this box because you're limited with the kind of hat you can ship in it so this is essentially the best possible box to ship any sort of hat now the next step with this if you're looking to if you're looking to buy these at the cheapest possible price pick them up online a big thing is the is the weight of these boxes you'll have to try to find a box that's structurally sound but also pretty lightweight and what and what I mean by that is we have two different kind of boxes here. They're both the same size. Uh, this one is a little bit thicker. It's a heavier gauge, but it also does weigh more. We'll put it on the scale. Notice that the box weighs close to about five ounces. So this box weighs five ounces, whereas this box weighs 3.3 .3 ounces. With the current post office price right now, the difference of two ounces will result, will result in 37 cent difference between shipping a baseball hat in this box as opposed to that box. Even though it's the same size, you're saving yourself 37 cents per package with this. Over 100 packages, that's $37. Um, so definitely try to pick up the lightest weight box. I find these work very well. 
to ship any hat. I never had a problem where the hat ended up being damaged. If you're treating this like a business and you want to save the most amount of money in the long run, definitely pick up the lighter weight boxes. Um, I never had a problem with them. So in that regards, uh, for the most part, they have held up to their standard. So now that you have picked out the most economical way of shipping the item, as well as the best possible box, all you have to do is simply tape out the box and ship the hat. It's a very, very simple process and the hat will fit in very, very easy. All you're going to want to do is hold in the top parts, just like any other box. And a big thing that I like to do is kind of hold it. You try to line up the sides to the best possible way. Otherwise, if they're not lined up, the whole box is going to be crooked. I generally put the piece of tape right in the middle and center it and squeeze it together so that the sides align pretty close to each other. That's a pretty... Just like that. And usually when I fold up boxes, I like to push downward on the top and push inward on the sides. That keeps the box very tight and in good shape. Lastly, you kind of just want to flare out the top piece of the cardboard. That way the hat easily slides in there. It might be a little bit of a snug fit, but it's fine just like that. You can now see the hat is perfectly in there. It's not being creased on the sides. It's not being smashed. It's not jammed in there. It's snug in there. You can also put a plastic bag over the hat if you, if you wish. Um, then just fold up the top pieces and your box should be solid. Just like that, your box is already packed up and ready to be shipped. You can tape it all the way around if you wish. You can tape it both sides if you wish. Uh, generally, I do use that method of shipping. You can easily use these eBay tape if you have an eBay store. You can use strapping tape even though it's a little overkill. Brown tape or clear tape, I would definitely suggest not using scotch tape. Uh, but you can use this kind of scotch tape packing, shipping, um, storage kind of tape works very well as well. You then take your item, you put on the scale, but like I said with the different size boxes, different size weights, yours might be different. So throw on the scale, get your weight. If you don't have a scale, you can go to a post office, they'll weigh it for you. Just write down the weight, bring it home, and you can print the shipping label from home. Always shipping from online is always cheaper than shipping at retail price. So make sure if you guys want to save any more money to ship it with your own personal shipping label, you can just print out a piece of paper with the shipping label and then tape the label on top of this. That's essentially how you ship a baseball hat. And that is how you ship a baseball hat. I know there has been a lot of different people asking what size boxes do I use? Uh, what kind of class do I ship it in? I ship everything when possible first class mail. I use a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven box. I pick up my boxes at EcoSwift. I think they have an online store, but I usually pick them up on eBay. I think they're like 35 cents or 40 cents per box if you buy 100. I usually buy 100. You can probably pick these up at Walmart. Like I said, you know, um, you try to find the li lightest possible, you try to find the lightest possible box that's still structurally sound. Aside from looking at this at a micro scale, just make sure you ship it into a box. It can be priority mail. It's going to cost you a little bit more. Um, if you can, try to find a brown box. First class mail generally usually costs online prices around three bucks right now. The price definitely changes over the years. Hopefully that was helpful. Seven by seven by seven box. Do not ship in a poly envelope. Send it first class mail. Should be around three bucks. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.